Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shardongster Born, but built for theme park factual entertainment, as you can see I'm wearing my famous rover shirt. Because today we're going to be delivering a prideful proud video, a Halloween update, where today we're gonna to be chatting about da, 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 Six Flags Hollow Fest. So this is a brand new Halloween event that's gonna stick with the COVID restrictions, but it's still gonna deliver a Halloween surprise. So uh, very exciting stuff there. Uh, so we're going to tell you all about the parks that it's going to be coming to in a little bit. Uh, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Uh, share the channel around with your friends, your family, on social media. All around, let's get this channel to 2,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer each and every day. And uh, make sure you comment down below, guys. Hashtag who is the hacker. I mean, he doesn't appear at the start, so I probably think he's bound to appear uh, somewhere in the video. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's get into this Halloween update. F Choices. <laughs> they define your life. But when push comes to shove, who will you sacrifice? In Halloween, the hack is revealed. I've made my choice. Will you make yours? Run! <laughs> so an official press release from Six Flags reads as follows. Uh, introducing Hallowfest, presented by Snickers. Snickers satisfies, as the American promotions would say. Um, so basically, um, the haunted experiences are happening in October. Uh, Frontier City is doing theirs October 2nd to October 31st, from 6 till 10 p.m. on Fridays and 4 till 10 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, so mark your calendars if you dare for the spookiest season of the year as ghouls take over the park. At Hallow Fest, the terror will be reimagined by adding safety precautions to reduce the spreading of both human and zombie germs. All guests will be required to make a reservation to avoid overcrowding, as we anticipate a lot of souls roaming in the park during Hallow Fest, hiding around every corner. Additionally, we're going to continue adding a monstrous amount of bewitching protocols to keep you safe and healthy, so the only thing you'll have to take home is loads of candy. No tricks here. All team members, including scare acts and guests three years and up, will be required to wear masks covering the nose and mouth while in the parks. No indoor mazes, haunted houses or indoor shows will be operated. Some haunted trails and scare zones will be operated outdoors, with social distancing strictly enforced. A limited number of nighttime scare actors will always remain at least six feet away from the guests and each other. Guests viewing outdoor entertainment will be separated by at least six feet. Props, rides, restraints, handrails and dining and restroom facilities will be cleaned and sanitised regularly. Multiple hand washing and alcohol based hand sanitizer stations will be located throughout the park for guests and team member usage. Now thrills by day. Trick or treat for selfies. Make your way through Timbertown and stop at our adorable Halloween themed selfie stations. Don't fret, this isn't a trick. Your sweet tooth will still be satisfied with a goodie bag full of treats. Back by popular demand, the Little Monster Maze is back and rooting little monsters through a spooky but sweet maze in one direction. So that's going to be like the only maze that's operating. Kids Halloween Costume Contest. On site today's children 10 years and under may wear their favourite costumes to win a prize. All costumes must accommodate face masks. Chills by night. So when the clock strikes 7, we've got some very interesting stuff going on. You can see... The Main Street Light Show like never before. The creatures of the night have been transformed to the usual jolly holiday themed show to celebrate the more haunting holiday suitable to their spookiness. Uh, signature and sinister shows will be transformed for the outdoors when guests can still frin cringe, fringe, cringe at the beloved but creepy three Freak Show Deluxe cast and catch a bone chilling stunt show or marvel at magical illusions. Don't get caught on one of our fright trails. Vin vintage Monsters of Yore will take you back to the days of Dracula, Dr. Frankenstein, Wolfman and more. Can you handle the terror of these past generations? If clowns make you crazy, 
Take care and caution passing through the Clown Cove. The creepy and uncanny cove is covered with clowns. Tongue twister there. Uh, and um, this Halloween escape with your everyday and enter the world of thrills and fantasy with us at Six Flags Hallow Fest. So that is just from Frontier City's press release. This event is happening at Six Flags Over Texas, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, Six Flags Over Georgia, Six Flags St. Louis, Six Flags America, Frontier City... And even before that, even before that, it was confirmed at other parks as well. So this is definitely going to be a very, very spooky time for Six Flags. So in terms of specific dates, we know that Frontier Cities will run from October 2nd through to October 31st. Now, the other dates, Six Flags America will operate theirs through October 3rd through to November 1st, as will Six Flags St. Louis. September 19th through to November 1st will be at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas and Six Flags Over Georgia. September 26th through to November 1st will be at Six Flags Over Texas. And through September 18th through to November 1st, uh, which is the other part that wasn't mentioned originally on the Screamscape article, and that was the already confirmed Six Flags Great Adventure event. So that is what's happening with Hello Fest 2020. That's going down at many different Six Flags there. Uh, the ones that were confirmed just uh, just a day ago, and of course Six Flags Great Adventure, which was already confirmed a couple of days prior. Um, now I do think this will be announced for the other Six Flags parks as well. I've got a feeling it will be announced for them as well. Now Magic Mountain obviously is a massive park. Very crowded though, so maybe they're not taking the risk with Magic Mountain at this stage. However, it's definitely a rebrand of the Fright Fest event. Like I said, no scare mazes, which is very, very interesting. And to be honest, I think that's the right way to go. I think you compare that to some of the scare events that are still going ahead in the UK with scare mazes. York Maze Hall of Scream in the UK is still going ahead. Scare Kingdom Scream Parks announced their details. So, And of course, we uploaded a video uh, about that uh, particular event. We uploaded a video about that um, just earlier, so make sure you go check that out. Um, other events, Alton Tower Scare Fest, um, Thought Park Fright Nights could still be going ahead as well. Um, and other scare events, Kent Scareground, which is the re-themed and sort of rebranded Margate Madhouse, I guess. That's still going ahead. Well, that's going to be debuting this year. Um, so it's going to be very, very interesting to see a Halloween event with no mazes. It's, it, it's weird because I'm used to seeing mazes at the Six Flags once. So uh, it's going to be very interesting. But I think, to be perfectly honest, this whole situation, this whole COVID situation is absolutely massive across the world. But I think it's hitting America the hardest right now. So that's why they're not taking the risk with scare mazes. I think that's why, you know, some of the UK events sort of taking the the risk at scare mazes at a respectful distance so uh, I think that's what the I think that's probably why then so like I said it's gonna be interesting to see no maze at these Halloween events at Six Flags but uh, it's the, the fact they're still going ahead with it they've got like a kiddie maze uh, so it's gonna be you know it's gonna be more um, best suited for them they're gonna stay restricted with though with that one so there's no real actors involved it's probably gonna be outdoors and uh, it's it's not really a maze. I'd probably say the little monster maze is probably gonna be like some kind of like horror trail or something, and it'll just be like uh, some animatronics or something. So just for something for the kids. So I don't think that one's really a maze. I think it'll probably be like an outdoor trail or something. So very very good stuff from there. Fair play to Six Flags for doing that. Obviously, this is not the last we'll hear of Six Flags this year before Halloween, because of course, August 27th, the 2021 announcements are, yet, are still yet to come. So that'll be in a week's time, or just over a week's time. Uh, so those videos will be all going up on the channel. It'll, it'll be a rapid period on August 27th when we get the news of what's coming to the park. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click OK Spell so you YouTube video. You know I comment to every single one of your comments. You know I do. So make sure you get your comments in for a reply. And for now, guys, I am the Coaster Chow. Keep the Coaster Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.